So the, the heart attack. Um, talk to our audience a little bit about what people experience or what they can experience uh, in the midst of having a heart attack or leading up to a heart attack. Well, sometimes leading up to a heart attack, um, you can have several symptoms. And the symptoms may be related, as you know, heart attack is because the vessels that feed the heart become blocked. And those vessels are located in different areas. So it all depends on which vessels are involved. But some of the symptoms you could have is just marked fatigue we talked about. Uh, you could be having nausea. Uh, you could have shortness of breath. But what I always like to say, any symptom that you have that it's worse with exertion and gets better with rest, you need to pay attention. I often recall someone having nine neck surgeries because they thought the neck pain was related to a cervical problem. And it was not on until I saw the patient and realized that it's every time it's always with exertion patient ended up having four-way bypass surgery so we need to pay attention to symptoms no matter how small they may be uh, as they present absolutely heart attacks can be a devastating thing you've seen many in my life lo lots of people who suffer from the the the, the next weeks and the next months and the next years of after having a heart attack what can African Americans do to begin to prevent this deadly disease? Well, I think the first thing is, like we said, be, ver be aware of the risk factors for heart disease. The number one, the one we like to stress is hypertension. Uh, there's diabetes, there's hypercholesterolemia, there's inactivity, move more, we need to be a little more physical. And the other thing too, like I talked about today, is the um, sleep disorders. Uh, because obstructive sleep or, uh, dis disorders can lead to other heart problems. So paying attention to these risk factors, number one. Number two, just knowing your numbers in these, in these areas. If your blood pressure is high and you're already taking medication, it means it's inadequate. So you need to be more aggressive in saying, you know, I need to be on more medication. Similarly, your lipid, your cholesterol is elevated and you're already on medication, it needs to be adjusted. So there's a certain component here that involves the patient being their own advocate. You can get more information about the show and our guests at primarycare-tv.com and continue the conversation on Facebook and Twitter.